Leonardo AI just released an anime image generation model, and it's giving Midjourney's Niji model a run for the money. Let me show you how awesome this anime model is, how it's very cool to have the ability to generate models now with no background, so you can put them in any situation you want. And of course, we're gonna see if it's as good or better than Niji version six. Let's get right to it and run these two head to head. I've just been testing out the new animation model, and what I'm doing is going through the Mid Journey feed, looking for really good anime images by searching for the word Niji, and then testing those prompts head to head inside of Leonardo. Here's what I have so far. My right, first prompt is a young Shinigami woman wearing a black kimono, red eyes, black hair, wielding katana on her back, bleach anime, black manga, full body shot. I have this set to widescreen instead of tall, so it's not doing very good on the full body shot. We're already seeing some very interesting things. There's a problem with the sword. This is very common with anime pictures. You usually have to generate multiple times to get the sword right. This is right neck and neck with what I'm seeing from Midjourney. Here's another image I saw on the Midjourney thing. It's some girl on the beach. I don't really know. It says Madoka Akoyama from animation Kimugura Orange Road with swimming suit on the beach, sunny day. This looks very much like the character I saw in the Midjourney feed. And here's the third one I tested. Mo anime fantasy kawaii woman wearing a sword and a kimono. Here we're getting some very good images. I feel like the bottom two are better. This is probably the best image of the set. Really high quality, really, really good kimono decoration. Everything feels like there's good movement. There's no problem with the sword. Overall, this is a real winner. We do have two swords. We have one here in her hand and one across her back. But if she's cross wielding and she pulls it this way, then I guess that could be how it works. Either way, this is a great image. She's got purple eyes, very anime style. Very impressive. Here, I was testing Shonen Ninja in the style of Ilya Kushinov, and we're also trying some other styles like Yusuke Murata. Some of the prompts that work in Midjourney don't quite work the same in Leonardo, and that's to be expected because they're different platforms. Let's go into the Midjourney feed and do some head to head competitions right now. So, this is the feed. There's a lot of these anime pictures of women. When I think of anime, I think of swords and giant robots. Obviously, I'm just a different generation. But I'm going to scroll down and look for something along those lines rather than all of these. It's not really what I'm looking for. This is just the Mid Journey feed searched for the word Niji, nothing else. And what I'm going to do is copy this exact prompt. This is a tall image, so I'm going to modify inside of Leonardo. I'm using Leonardo Anime XL. I'm going to change the image dimensions to be short and tall. Make it 512 by 1024, so it's two to one. And we're just going to hit generate. I don't know what a lot of these words mean, like tondo, woman core. I'm not sure of this language. All I'm looking at is head to head who makes the better image. Have a result, which is a very different style and very different aesthetic. I think a lot of that comes from some of these final words, especially asking for sharp contrast and low resolution and modify the image quite a lot. We have to use a different prompting language if we want to get the exact same image. However, there's something really cool that we can try. We can download this image, man holding a stick, and go back into Leonardo and go to image guidance. And we can draw the image in and use that as part of our guidance and do an image to image prompt generation and give it a strength level. Usually 0.3 is the right amount to do. We don't want to go much beyond that because then it just creates the same image. And we want to see if we can get a slightly different image. So the generation is now running. And we'll see if we can get a better version of the exact same image. One of the really cool things is the ability to pull images back and forth between Mid Journey and Leonardo. Leonardo is much more accepting of Mid Journey's images than the reverse. Let's see what happens. We now have an image that's very, very, very similar to what we saw in Mid Journey. We can just compare the two images and very similar in style. We're able to go image to image using the anime model and get something very cool. Let's look for another image to try and test. All right, here's a really cool image. Light, light armored cyborg anime girl full body. Now this prompt failed. You can see they didn't get full body. So there's no feet in the image, which is fine. Let's try the exact same thing. Light armored anime, light armored cyborg anime girl full body. Let's generate. We're going to turn off image guidance. We don't want to use that image again. And now we can generate. While that's running, let's look for one more image to test. Look for an anime samurai. On something that has a really distinctive style. I like this a lot. There's a lot of prompt here to work from. And we're going to run this prompt at the same time. 
we're getting some really interesting types of images here. The first three are obviously very similar in style. This one, I'm not sure what happened. The bottom half looks almost like a Lego. We're going to do our last generation. We're starting to get some very interesting things from Leonardo. This is a brand new model that just came out. We can look head to head and just compare the two designs. Obviously, this design is a little better, but there are a ton of problems in the prompt that Midjourney was able to understand that Leonardo got lost in. Let me show you where I think the prompt went off the rails. So it says, a young man in his 20s, athletic build, long high tied ponytail. What they actually mean is a top knot. They used the wrong word there for the Japanese haircut. It did effectively almost get it. Then we have the words tan skin tone. We actually want the word tan skin. Wearing a blue common peasant is misspelled. Robes of Imperial Japan and rice field hat. It's not the right name for the hat. The hat's made out of straw. So you can say straw hat. That's where something's lost. He has four swords held on his hips. That's too many. That it's where I think the image is getting lost by trying to generate all of the different swords. So it's a little bit too much complexity. And then I'm also not sure why you're saying use the artwork of Miyamoto Masashi. He's not a famous artist. He's a famous sword fighter. He's the author of the Book of Five Rings, most famous sword fighter in Japanese history. This is very similar to the Art of War book that's from Chinese history. Let's try and fix the prompt and see if we can get a very similar result. I'm going to get rid of all of this at the end because I think that's distraction. You want to just say a samurai top knot and skin. This is a little bit confusing because I don't know if the character is supposed to be Japanese or Western and tan. It's a little lost. What's the common peasant robes of Imperial Japan? Maybe we can cover this. Imperial Japan is a period of about a thousand years. <laughs> Fashion changes over the course of time. I'm going to say a straw hat. I think that will let it know what type of hat we mean. That's where it got lost. All of these have the wrong type of hat. And we just want to say facing camera. I like to put commas between each different thing. All of this stuff is too confusing. And we can say traditionally samurai wears two swords, a long sword and a short sword. I don't know that I want to put that into the prompt as well because you're starting to get a little bit complicated. One of the areas where I notice that AI imaginers can get lost is when you really focus on the accessory, whether it's a laser gun or the different types of swords. That's usually one of the most dangerous parts of the prompt. I don't want to go too complex there. I want to first see if I can get the character and then I can start building towards the swords that I want. If we look at the original image, he doesn't have the swords that the person wanted. These swords are all strange. I do like this image. I think it's really well done, even though there are a bunch of mistakes in the background. And if you look closely, the hat's not centered. It goes a little bit to the side, but it's a good image. And that's what we're trying to replicate. So let's see what happens if we can just modify our prompt as opposed to going image to image. Simply by rewriting the prompt, we're getting a much, much better character. He's now staring into the camera. There's a little bit of stubble. Now we have a much better image. One of the things to learn from this experiment is that Leonardo uses different prompting language than Midjourney, and we can really dive in and start getting creative. The last thing I want to do is play around with one of their new elements, which is glow wave. We're going to add the glow wave element and we're going to go back and do our samurai robot style. So we're going to do this light armored cyborg girl full anime and just show this is where Leonardo actually shines when we add in these different elements. And there are a ton of them. In addition to glow wave, we can add in dragon skin or color pop elements, dark art, cyber tech. All sorts of really amazing things that show Leonardo is just way more powerful than Midjourney. But with all that power, it can also be overwhelming because you're spoiled for choice. So I like to start small and build up with my prompts. And the cool thing about Leonardo is you just get so many credits. I never pay attention. I was running experiments all day because I was planning and creating a different video for you guys. That experiment did not work. I spent over a thousand credits and I was running images for hours to spend that. And you're never going to hit that limit. 15 credits. This system, it can be distracting, but even with a free plan, you get so many image generations, you can do so many cool things. Let's see what adding Glow Wave does to our light armored cyborg anime girl. All four images successfully achieved full body, unlike the mid journey image that we modeled. These are very cool. The scale at the top, of how much glow wave you're adding, determines how much she's glowing. We now have a really unique style.
that seems like one of the big scenes in an anime movie where we find out that the character has a spirit inside of them or something amazing is happening. It's a big moment. These pictures are really good. This is something very difficult to achieve in Mid Journey. And we can try and reverse engineer it because I always want to take everything to the next level. So we're going to download this image. We're then going to pull this image into Mid Journey and run the exact same prompt. Let's use her as our reference. This is going to be a character reference. I'm going to leave character reference maxed out. Let me change the dimension. So we have it tall, stylized at 300. This is good. Image is raw, which means the prompt will be strong. And let's run this and see what we get. There's a reason that I teach Midjourney and Leonardo, and this is it. By going back and forth, we can achieve creative elements that we can't get in just one platform or the other. And there are some very interesting things here. One of the features that Midjourney has is the describe function, where I can drop in an image and say, give me the four text prompts that would generate this image. It's very powerful, and it's a very powerful tool to give me new ways of writing prompts. That's the one thing that I wish Leonardo had because I think it's so powerful. Leonardo does have the image to image function, but it's not exactly the same thing because it only lets me use that image as a model. It doesn't let me know what is triggering the different elements of the image. Because Midjourney now has the ability to use this image in three ways as a character reference, as a style reference, or as an image reference, it already has the image to image function as well. So there are competing in different ways. I hope this has you absolutely excited. This is what's possible with anime. And now, Leonardo has just entered the game. Thank you guys so much for checking out what's possible with Leonardo's new AI anime image generator. I hope you're as excited by it as I am. Midjourney no longer has a free plan. They got rid of that over a year ago, but you can still get free credits with Leonardo. So if you're someone who's on a limited budget and you have to operate with a free tool, it's very cool that you can now do amazing high quality anime images using the amazing tools at Leonardo. This has me really excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are these types of images exciting for you? Do you want to generate anime images? Have you realized that you can combine this video with my consistent characters video to turn this character into the star of a story? That's one of the very cool things about jumping back and forth between Midjourney and Leonardo. And sometimes I just like to hint about those things in my videos. And of course, you can watch the consistency video right here. As always, I appreciate you hanging out with me all the way to the end, and I love your feedback. I do read and respond to every single comment on this channel. This is a small channel. We crossed 1,000 subscribers last month, and this month I'm on a mission to cross 2,000. I know that we're going to do it together. I appreciate you for being here so much. It really means a lot to me. Every single view really counts, especially at this size. If you like what you saw today, please hit the like button. That means that more people will see this video. It encourages the YouTube algorithm to share the video around, and if you hit that subscribe button, you'll see more of my videos in your feed and the bell. That means you'll get notified every single time I post a video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me all the way to the end. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.